Hello, I'm going to show you how to do duck and fresh orange sauce. I put a soup ladle full of sugar in the bottom of my saucepan with a splash of cold water. And I've let it simmer till it's this lovely colour of brown. Now, whenever that's browning slightly more, I have a pan on hot with pure butter in it, seared my duck fillets. You just see them, put a knife through them. And what you do is you put skin down first. And that gives the skin first a lovely crispy top to it. Now, as you can see, this is browned like so. Pour in some pure orange juice. My hands again. And a good splash of vinegar. And of course, a splash of Cointreau. Cointreau gives it a lovely orange flavour. Now you think it sticks to the bottom of the pot, it'll dissolve, dissolve itself. And you bring this up to the boil. And you see it goes around the bottom of the pot like so, but don't worry about it, it'll all dissolve and make a lovely delicious sauce. Almost to the boil again. As you can see, the uh, duck skin is starting now to get nice and crispy. You do it three minutes on each side. As you can see, the sauce is nice, boiling up again. And to thicken it, you either use thickening granules again or corn flour if you haven't got. Now that is your sauce, it will be your sauce when this dissolves and simmers for five minutes. That is your fresh Quantro sauce for your duck. This is your duck here. As you can see, it needs a bit more on this side. Make it nice and crispy. The fat will spit out here with the butter. So just be careful you don't get a burn. You have to have this on a hot heat to get the crispiness of the duck. That's getting nice and dry. And a lovely golden colour. Absolutely fabulous. And you can see the sear mark in it that lets the juice dissolve through, the butter all through to make it nice and juicy. Check your sauce just to see if it's a nice consistency. If not, you add a wee bit more.
Oh, look at that. That is a lovely light orange sauce. In fact, it's a wee bit thicker. You can do it. It's up to your own preference. resting and as you can see it's absolutely fabulous and look at that baby look at that absolutely stunning stunning One fillet of duck. With some orange quantum sauce over it. I hope you enjoy. Thank you for watching. Hello everybody, um, this afternoon I'm going to show you how to bone out chicken legs. You get your fresh chicken from the butcher and then you pull back like so that is one leg off do the same at the other side. And that leaves you with your crown of turkey or chicken. You then bone it out. You go down each side of the bone. Put your knife underneath and that is your leg boned out. Now you can either do it in breadcrumbs and pan fry it I know it as a scallop of chicken or you can put stuffing in it and roll it up. Now, I'll show you again. Your leg. Bone like so. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
and that is your leg boned out. Now what I'm going to do now is with the bones I'm putting them into this pan here this is a pan and I'm going to brown the bones with carrot, parsley, and a bit of garlic, a bit of onion, whatever you have and I'm going to brown this and then I'm going to put some stuffing into my legs or chicken and roll it up and I'm going to put stuffing inside my chicken as well okay folks now this is all cooking what I'm doing is I'm browning these in oil to make a trivet of vegetables to use as a base this will make a beautiful stock for gravy when your chicken comes out. And what I'm going to do now is put my chicken on top and put my legs beside it. I'm going to season it cover it in tin foil and put it in the oven to cook. Thank you very Thank you. Hello, this is my chicken just out of the oven. As you can see, it's lovely golden colour. Like so. Then I have my legs that were boned and stuffed. I drained the juice of this put it into a pot and I have thickened it to make a beautiful fresh gravy. I also boiled a ham about an hour, an hour and a half and I used a stalk of it to make soup and then I finished it off in the oven with a bit of honey over it. I also have lovely bacon rolls. Yorkshire puddings and also goose fat roast potatoes just out of the oven as well as you can see they're absolutely lovely and crunchy I melted goose fat in a frying pan put a bit of garlic with a sea salt Brown them and stuck the whole pan in the oven and they cook within the hour. I also have baby boiled potatoes that's going to be doing it now. And they will be served with this and some lovely fresh green vegetables to give it some colour. Now all that's left is for me to do is to set this on the table and my darling husband to carve it for a Sunday dinner. Hope you enjoy. Thank you very much indeed. <laughs>